Hello everyone, this is Sephiroth's Awakening, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Ocean First Departure for the PlayStation Portable. I'm here outside Tatroy. I'm going to do some arena battles with one of my female characters to try and get to rank A and get the uh, star guard that the females get when completing uh, rank A uh, arena battle or arena round. Alright. Preachy. And we gotta go through all the ranks. Rank H is easiest. It really isn't much to worry about. Uh, let's see. Yeah, rank H isn't much. Our first round, we gotta fight a bushwhacker. Next round is a slime, then followed by a kobold, then a robber, axeman, and then finally the boss is a Velkent. That little mini boss that we fought in the uh, Velkant cave. Sorry, I'm going over th that way too fast, but uh, these fights really. I wish it was like a Star Ocean the second story, Star Ocean the second story. The arena system had it where you could go to rank A right from the beginning. On this game, I think you have to unlock the ranks on each character. For example, um, after this, I after I finished rank H, I should be able to access rank G, but only on Parichi. Time to fight. Hey, oh. nice job. I'm hoping to be able to complete rank A, but I probably won't. But I will get some experience. And if I can complete rank C, I get the Omega SFT. Um, I think the Omega SFT is, uh, um, I think it, that goes for multiple characters, but I'm not sure. Anyways, I'll cut to the next prank. Alright, these groups of battles, again, nothing to worry about. Um... The final boss, the final round, is a Velkant Chief, like we fought at the Velkant Cave, nothing too difficult. Time to fight. Multiple punch. Nice job. I'm only doing a thousand damage. Did I equip her with the Ring of Might? I don't think I did. Though I have customized her uh, current best weapon. I think rank A also gives you a very powerful weapon. I'm um, pretty sure. It gives me the silver claws. I'm not sure exactly the attack on them, but uh, 
They must be pretty good as if they're a rank A prize. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do rank A, be able to complete rank A, if I'm not able to hit at least four or five thousand a hit on a multiple hit technique. And we get uh, another set of items, pretty much all crap except for rank A and rank C's Omega SFT. Alright. Preachy. Get rid of that multiple punch. Hmm, spread missile, I guess. Yeah, I try spread missile. Sounds like it's multiple multiple attack. All right, rank of nothing really uh, powerful here. The final boss is, or the final round is Priscilla. Don't really recall that. Maybe it's that uh, spider woman we fought in the cave? Because I think these are all uh, Astral Kingdom mobs. Oops, I'm looking at the wrong one. That's actually rank E. Rank F is a giant. Don't recall fighting them before. Time to fight. Hey, ha, ho. Nice job. And I forgot to check for each of equipment. Oh well. It's probably not gonna be critical to around rank B. Alright, I'm getting rid of that spread missile too. Alright, uh, that should be a witch at. Oh god, these guys are annoying when they go around the screen and stuff. And finally, the giant. Time to fight. And it's basically a reskin of this Bell Camp dude. I wonder, does uh, equipping two rings of might actually quadruple your attack power? I had to check that after this. And once again, we get crap. No, she has a ring of might and dragon call, kitty armor, dream crown, and boots. Let's see what happens with another ring of might. Nothing. Alright. So the combination is good. The weakness and the uh, sacrificial doll cancel each other out. And plus if she dies she'll get a second chance. Not that I'm expecting her to die. The yeah, final boss only has around 6,000 HP, so this time it, the final boss of this rank is Priscilla. Time to fight. Hey, ha, ho. Very good. Time 
to fight. Hmm. Every one of these guys are the weakest enemies on the stars in the second story. They had the exact same skin and everything. And they're the weakest lizard men. But this time, they had around a uh, lizard X pen. 1,620 some HP, I think. That's what my guide says, so. And next is Kobo King. Am I looking at the right rank? I think I am. Yeah, this and the next one should be a dragonfly. And it's nullifies wind damage, so watch out for this guy in this rank. If you do wind damage for some odd reason. Very good. And now the boss. Priscilla. It's just a reskin of enemies we fought before. And not much HP. Uh, one thing affecting Preachy's damage is probably because the training mode. Even though you can get experience from the high ranks of the uh, battle arena, it's not a good idea to have it on your first run through. Or does she have training? She should have training on, but uh, I'll check that and see if I can't boost her uh, skill level in that uh, one skill that lowers the experiment or experience required so that I can uh, so that I can level her up a bit before the final uh, train. Here we go. Oh, she wasn't training. Eh, learn skills. Alright, more effort. And switch her other skill out. I wonder, can she heal herself with this healing dance? Or is it only other party members? Could be useful. It'd be really useful uh, if you decided to go with a full DPS party without mages or healers. 